Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug diphenhydramine, also known by the brand names Benadryl, Banofin, and others. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Diphenhydramine belongs to the first generation antihistamine drug classification, and it is used for a wide variety of issues, including seasonal allergies, various allergic reactions like itchy eyes, nose or throat, allergic rashes, insect bites, nausea, coughs, it has some anti-Parkinson effects, and many more. Now let's talk about how diphenhydramine works to treat all of these different problems. Like we mentioned, it is an antihistamine drug. So first, we need to understand what histamine is. Histamine is a very important compound produced in the body that helps regulate all sorts of physiological functions. It can act as a neurotransmitter in the brain, keeping us alert. It can affect our immune system and blood vessels, our respiratory system, our GI system, and so much more. What we need to focus on here is the effect of histamine on the immune system. Histamine is important in helping the immune system protect the body against foreign substances. Histamine helps alert the body of the foreign substances, helps dilate or open up the blood vessels, and increases vascular permeability. This means that the blood vessels basically become leakier, allowing white blood cells and other protective substances in to help get rid of the foreign substance. This is all great stuff unless the immune system makes a terrible mistake, which happens. So when someone is going through an allergic reaction, like from dust or pollen or nuts, whatever it is, it's because the immune system is overreacting to a harmless foreign substance the immune system has made a mistake. And as a result, histamine starts working extra hard. And we start seeing all of those annoying little effects like itchy eyes, runny nose, all the way up to anaphylaxis, which may present as bronchoconstriction, making it harder to breathe, and vasodilation, causing a drop in blood pressure and more. Thankfully, we have drugs like diphenhydramine. Being an antihistamine, diphenhydramine blocks or antagonizes histamine 1 receptors throughout the body. Diphenhydramine kicks out histamine from the histamine receptors, which subsequently reverses the effects of histamine throughout the body, reducing allergic reaction symptoms. Like we mentioned, diphenhydramine can also be used to treat nausea and motion sickness. Without going into too much detail, it blocks or antagonizes histamine receptors in the vestibular system as well, which is responsible for things like motion, balance, head position, and more. So again, if somebody is experiencing nausea or motion sickness, antihistamines can help by acting in the vestibular system. One of the main differences between first and second generation antihistamines is that first generation antihistamines tend to cause more sedation or drowsiness. This is why diphenhydramine is often seen as more of a nighttime allergy medication. Just some of diphenhydramine's other possible side effects include thickening of bronchial secretions, dry mouth, constipation, urinary retention, and more. Avoid use of diphenhydramine in those with closed angle glaucoma, severe liver disease, hyperthyroidism, and more. Diphenhydramine is contraindicated with breastfeeding, and safety in children less than two years old has not yet been established. Do not take diphenhydramine with other CNS depressants like alcohol, opioids, or other antihistamines unless directed by the healthcare provider. Due to diphenhydramine's risk of causing drowsiness, avoid driving or operating heavy machinery while taking the medication. Take diphenhydramine with food, Diphenhydramine is available in many different forms, including oral capsules, tablets, chewable tablets, and syrups. It is also available intramuscularly or intravenously for when oral administration is not viable. Remember to not take diphenhydramine for extended periods of time without notifying the healthcare provider. And that's about it for the basics of diphenhydramine. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.